Hello everyone, this is Sunset Duck 2 and welcome to another data pack related video, this time on D Manager. Uh, the only reason I came across this is uh, the Asphodel Meadows creator let me know that the 1.14 version is available to take a look at and I checked CurseForge and there was nothing so I was like, okay. And they also mentioned D Manager. I was like, okay, I wonder what that is. So I searched up and came to this conclusion, and this seems like the most likely uh, thing, as well as the fact that I have actually found it using this. So obviously, I went and got it, set it up, and yeah. Now, obviously for me, by default, it ended up in my vanilla, or at least when I first was using this, besides testing multi-MC. And, uh, yeah, it's got access to all my saves in my vanilla. So, a few in that, that are riff related a few that are a bit of 1.14, as well as other 1.13, 1.14 data pack testing. So, yeah, if I actually wanted to, though, I could try... Team C. So I've got that there. If I wanted to try others, I just have to go to my other instance and it'll check for the saves and the data packs folder. So I could go for there or I could go for a bunch of other stuff. But, anyways, we'll be looking into 1.14. Obviously, I've selected that. I'll select the save of choice. And then after that, obviously you've got a search bar and a filter side. Obviously you can filter through that, which I found isn't too bad. Um, Installed packs, which are the different things, different languages. And obviously, yeah, I don't know where it actually gets these mods from though. I'm assuming it's for creators that have actually done the whole submit data pack or a bunch of other bits and pieces with the um, host of this of some kind, or it's any that are on Planet Minecraft possibly, or something like that. I'm only just guessing, I don't actually know, um, but I'm assuming it's going through this sort of service more so than anything I'd say. Um, I've already got Asphodel Meadows technically in this version, if I actually check, as you can see here, I've already got it, and I've got mechanization. Technically, it did show up stuff last time, but it hasn't managed it this time. Um, but either way, you just click on something, look around at it, there's a website usually that they've got, it's got a bunch of other information, so it's not too bad. Pretty similar to Twitch, I'd say, but that's not a bad thing because, you know, it's it's readable. You understand what you're getting at. You've got a few things here and there to look at for the um, creator of the data pack. And yeah, so there's quite a lot of offerings. I'll just skim down real quick here. Okay, and I'll go into my 1.14 instance probably. Uh, last time I tried this, I couldn't get Asphodel Meadows working for this, but it's probably just the way I set it up, more so than anything, because um, I do technically have the resource pack and data pack in the correct spots. It's just for some reason, I don't know what I did, but I can't get it going. Probably just the drop rate of craft a paper with witches I'd say, but I also tried um, getting essence from mobs and nothing. Um, but it does acknowledge the data pack though. If I go data pack list command, it definitely shows up. So I don't know, but either way I'll have a look at it and we'll see. Because if I go here, mechanization's acknowledged. If I go in here though, Once we wait, or I wait and I skip it, we'll see how it goes. No, okay, it's not 
doing too bad. Obviously evidence is definitely there. It's just for some reason I couldn't get it working. For craft a paper at least, or essences. Um, so, yeah. But otherwise, I do have mechanization working at least. So, for the machine crafting table, if I try and craft another one, I'm pretty sure it's in one second. Okay. Like so. Again, I've already got the mechanical manual, so it's not going to bother with it. Place that down, and we're good to go. So, definitely a good data pack installer. Um, uninstaller, I guess. I'll actually try. Because I don't actually need this anymore. I'm just going about a bunch of stuff. Obviously, that's something quick and simple I can get. It can be of use. Um, let's see. Something simple. I don't know. Liquid tanks. FTB fills, recipes. I don't know. I'll just get this one quick, obviously. You can click install. You can uninstall it, obviously. It's pretty simple. It acknowledges that as an alert. If you get something with a resource pack, like I might actually do Asphodel Meadows here as an example, if I get the data pack, it's relying on other things like the resource packs, it'll let you know whether it's relying on a resource pack or not, which is great, similar to probably, I guess, in the same way as if you would need a core for a certain mod. Page there. Other than that, simple manager. Um, you probably don't need it, but if you wanted to, in that from a a pretty great database at least of stuff, uh, this is definitely helpful. Um, but other than that, thanks so much for watching and goodbye.